Hayden, that's a that's a night you'll remember for the rest of your life, I'm sure. Your first senior goal, man of the match, winner against Shamrock Rovers. You know, it doesn't get much better than that. No, not something that I dreamt of last night um, <laughs> in bed. I was just looking to get the win, really, but obviously it's a bonus to get the goal and obviously man of the match as well. It was an unbelievable performance, especially going down to 10 men playing for over an hour. You know, it, was, yeah. it was a... No, it was tough. As soon as we went down to 10 men, we kind of looked at each other knowing it was going to be a, a graph. But um, I thought the tactics that the manager went to going to a 4-4-1 really helped the team out because it allowed us not to just sit in, like we actually pressed them as well. And when you go down to 10 men against Rovers, the tendency is probably just to sit back and let them have it. But I thought we was a threat on the counter and we done really well. It was so frustrating because up until then, I thought we were a better side and yeah. obviously we had our noses in front. No, yeah, I agree. I thought um, first 10 minutes was cagey. Both teams were like up and at each other. Like we knew it was going to be a high intensity game, but... We had the edge. I thought we had the better quality in the final third. But obviously the decision changed the game. But we managed to dig in and get the win, which is all that matters. Tell us about the goal. I think Robbie McCourt deserves a lot of credit for forcing forcing the save. And then yeah. it was one of those, he just hit, hit closed the eyes and hit it, was it? One of them ones. It <laughs> fell to me lovely. And I didn't even have to look at the goal, really. We do so many cross and finishing drills. Yeah. I just knew where the goal was. I just hit it first time. And yeah, luckily it went in. What's going through the head in that, when that ball hits the net? Just like, I couldn't, like loads of emotions. My first thing to do was to shush the crowd just because it's Shamrock, to be honest. But um, yeah, loads of emotions. It's a wonderful feeling that nothing really outside of football can replicate. After that, in the second half, I think Nathan made a brilliant save from, from the corner. But in fairness, they didn't really have anything too clear cut. You just defended yeah. to a man. Now, we knew that they was going to go wide and put crosses in, but it's all about how we defend that. Um, the gaffer even said after the game, like they didn't really open us up once. They had a long ball a couple of times, which got them in. But it's tough when they got to him. They're always going to get some sort of chances. But in the main, I thought we'd done really well defensively. When we played them in the league game a couple of weeks ago, it was a different, it was a different victory. You could see the reaction there at the end. Sometimes when you have that bit of yeah. adversity, it can, it can make it a wee bit sweeter, can't it? Yeah, and it adds that little bite as well into the game. Obviously, we know Rovers are our big rivals. Um, and that's a massive stepping stone where we want to go this season in the cup, like on our cup adventure. So um, hopefully we get the win in the round of 16 and we kick on as well. It's been a brilliant week. Europe, win, winning Europe into the next round, into the next round of the cup. We can go to Iceland now in, in great spirits. Yeah, that's something that we're all looking forward to. The gap even said in there, it's about recovering well now and getting our minds focused on the team that we're playing in Iceland. I, I'm not even going to try and pronounce them because I have no idea. We'll just leave it a K. We'll just leave it a K, yeah. <laughs> but um, that's something that we're obviously going to look forward to. Um, doing our meetings on them, seeing how they play and just hopefully we can bring the same sort of performance that we played, that we put in today, next week. A proud night for you? Yeah, proud night, very proud night for me and my family. Um, probably one that's not going to happen too many as a centre-back, but hopefully they can keep coming. Well done, Hayden. Thank you, Gavin. Cheers. Well